What's good everybody, it's your boy Hums from Arthur Gaming and today I'm coming to you with the highly requested Rongo combo video and a lot of people, they saw my deck profile and they said what do I do if I draw Steam the Cloak? Well, I'm about to show you guys and then I'm going to do a random test hand just to show you guys how consistent this deck is and yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into the combo video, shall we? So as you guys can see here, it's a simple two card combo obviously connector can be like a junk forward or anything you still have combo even if you draw Steam the Cloak so I'm going to show you these three cards are literally irrelevant, you don't even need for the combo so we're going to start off, you're going to go Normal Summon Space Connector and use this effect. And you're going to get Aqua Dolphin. Now, all you, all you really just, let's say you need to do is you don't even use Aqua Dolphin's effect here. You can if you want, you can discard a card. But uh, I'm just doing it just to show you that I have the combo. So now you're going to Link 2 into a Sold. Don't use this effect to Search, but use this effect to Mill. So you're going to use this effect to Mill, you're going to dump the standard 4 equips that you always dump. And Divine Sword, obviously. Um, even if you open Divine Sword, it doesn't matter because you just equip the Divine Sword to one of these monsters before you link them off. So you need the Divine Sword in Graveyard for this combo, obviously. So you dump that and you summon the standard move this. Armageddon Knight and use Armageddon Knight's effect. Except this time, instead of sending the Zephyrus the Elite that we usually send for the combo, you're going to send the Distrudo. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to link these two and you're going to go into Summon Sorceress. Summon Sorcerer's Effect will trigger on Summon, giving them Steam to Cloak. And now you can use Summon Sorcerer's Effect to target Steam to bring out Zephyrus the Elite. Obviously it's effects are negated, but it doesn't even matter at that point. So now you're gonna go through your deck, grab the Zephyrus the Elite. And now from here, that Destruit that you dropped at the beginning of the game, you're gonna target Zephyrus and bring it out. So now it's a 3 and a 4, and you're gonna Synchro Summon into Yazzie. Now you're going to use Yazzie effect to target Steam to pop them both. So they'll both die. And then you're going to use Chainlink 1, Yazzie summon from deck, Chainlink 2, Steam, just in case they have some sort of interruption that they didn't hit you with yet. So Steam will summon the token, and then Yazzie will trigger, bring out Mirror Mirror. So now you're going to grab the Mirror Mirror right here. Zones don't matter. Um, and then from here, you're going to use Mirror Mirror's effect three times. So you're going to bring out three tokens, and then you're going to link one token away into Link Rebo, and then two away into the Space Insulator. So at this point, you're not linking the Summon Sources away at all. You're gonna link these two away into Rusty because you have a Link 2 and a Link 1 that are dark. So this is very important. Now you're gonna use Rusty Effect, and Rusty is gonna obviously set um, your Shade Brigandine. So let's go through that right now. Dump the sh uh, set the Shade Brigandine, and then dump the Cloak. And then you're going to banish the cloak to add the boots. So this is all super standard right now. This is set. And now you're going to special summon the boots. And now synchro Mirror Mirror because she's a level 4 now because you used the uh, effect 3 times. Into power tool, so that's a level 7. And now you use power tool effect. Reveal the 3 DDRs. And then add one to your hand. So right here you're going to grab... Like the three DDRs, you reveal them, you get one. Wow. And now this is very important. You have to use Silent Boots effect in the graveyard to search for a Fog Blade. And the reason why you do that is so you have another discard outlet apart from uh, the Divine Sword because you're actually going to be using this to get your last material for the Rongo. So now you banish a Soul to Armageddon Knight. Once again, the Warriors don't matter for this one. It just has to be an Arm Armageddon Knight. That's the most important part. So now you have these in your hand and you have a Shade Brigandine set. So now you're going to link power tool and summon sources away into topologic umblar dragon right here in this zone now you're going to use ddr's effect to pitch the fog blade and target the armageddon knight you're going to summon the armageddon knight and now gumbar is going to trigger discarding any two random cards from your hand so uh it doesn't really matter what you discard so say those two so i discard these two that's fine armageddon knight is going to trigger and he's going to dump the Ragged Gloves. Now from here, you're going to banish the Fog Blade to special summon the Ragged Gloves. And then you're going to use Steam the Cloak's effect to tribute the token to summon Steam the Cloak right here. And now from here, you're going to overlay these two level 3s on top of Gumblar into Gossip Shadow. And then here, you're going to chain activate the Shade Brigandine to summon it here. And then overlay it to Rongo. And then of course you do the Gossip Shadow to go back to the Rongo. 
And just like that, you have Rongo for five, you gumbar them for two. You have two cards in your hand. And next turn, it's pretty much game because you just, you ha already have like almost 3k on board and you have your graveyard as well. And you haven't even used Zephyros' effect this duel. So DDR falls off. And yeah, so this is the Steam with Cold combo, very, very standard. And now I'm just gonna show you random test hands, just show you how consistent this deck really is. All right guys, so now I'm just gonna power shuffle on camera to show you how consistent this deck really is. I'm just gonna be running a little, some test hands just to show you guys that this deck really is consistent and probably is the best deck of the format that you can wrongle literally with almost every hand. And if you can't wrongle for some odd reason, you can still gumbar them and other stuff like that. But like I said before, every hand you're putting up wrongle for six, every single hand. And if you have extenders, you're putting wrongle for seven. So I'm power shuffling, you see it right here. Not stacking my deck, not showing anything. I'm gonna go over here. Whatever, shuffle them, like so. And now I'm gonna get my lovely cameraman to cut the deck. So can you cut the deck, sir? It's kind of the deck, misses the deck, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just gonna draw any five cards and see if I have combo. So right away, like you look at this hand right now and I have combo boom, because I have, I opened Vion and I even opened the Aqua Dolphin as well. So. What we're gonna do here is I open Aqua Dolphin and Instafusion. So it's better to just normal summon the Aqua Dolphin and then use the Instafusion to bring out the Rage. And so in this case is, you can actually hit out the uh, Gamma in their hand. So you just go effect, discard, look at their hand, and then you just do the standard combo. They're missing a card in their hand, it sucks for them. You just go a sold, do a standard, the mill, so you're gonna mill uh, the four cost off. So like, like I said, like, any, any hand with this deck is full combo. It doesn't matter the hand, like you always have it. There's always a way to get to it. And if you can get to it, then you win because they can't do anything about it. So you dump that, you dump that, you get the Armageddon Knight. Of course, Armageddon Knight's gonna trigger and you're gonna dump uh, Zephyros the Elite because that's the standard one. You always wanna be dumping Zephyros off Armageddon Knight. If you, like say for example, you pitched it with like a Greffer or something like that, then you can obviously dump like a Distrudo or like another line of play, but you dump that. Um, you're gonna banish two warrior monsters, so Invoke Region and the Aqua Dolphin that you started with to get the Divine Sword. You equip the Divine Sword to the Armageddon Knight. Zephyros bounce it, and then re-equip. And this Zephyros zone is very important. It has to be in the corners because then you can't summon sorceress it. So you link these away into the summon sorceress. Summon sorceress will target it to bring out steam. You banish two again. Once again, Armageddon has to be banished. Now you go Synchro Summon into Power Tool Dragon. So Steam will trigger, bringing out the token, and now Power Tool will affect will resolve. So now you just grab the DDR, you're gonna reveal three DDRs and you have them. So now you have the DDR in your hand. You're gonna link Steam and this again into Space Insulator. And then these two, you can go straight into Rusty, Bardish. You're gonna use Rusty's effect. And what Rusty's gonna do is he's gonna dump you your uh, cloak. So you're gonna go set this. You're gonna dump the cloak, banish it to search the boots. And like, once again, like I said, guys, this this hand is just all oh, this set. Any any hand is full combo. Like, it doesn't matter what your opponent does. Like, you just, you just win. So now you're gonna go DDR, you're gonna pitch this. You're gonna reborn the Armageddon Knight. And now you're gonna look in your game and see what you're missing. Not missing anything. So you're gonna go Armageddon Effect. And now over here, since you already have everything, since I dumped the Desudo off of the uh, Aqua Dolphin, I'm just gonna dump the Malicious for next turn. Cause now next turn I have a guaranteed Boral, uh, Yazzie play. So now from here, you're gonna go Activate, Summon. You're gonna go Desudo to target any of them. It doesn't matter which one. It just has to make Desudo a level three. So now is a three. You're gonna Special Summon Boots and you're gonna overlay these two into Rongo. And then you're gonna use Steam the Cloaks effect in Graveyard to tribute Rusty to summon Steam. And then you overlay these into Gossip Shadow. And then Gossip Shadow goes right into Rongo. And then you have Rongo for six. Beats any deck, beats Sky Strikers, beats uh, Alter Geist, they can't do anything about it. And you have two cards in your hand, obviously I have the Twin Twisters. And I still have Divine Storm in my Graveyard. If I wanted to, I could get it back. So yeah, during their turn, you just set the Twin Twisters. They do whatever play they want, it doesn't matter. You draw for turn. Depending on what they do, if they set a monster, you just uh, 
you have detached or you detach to the pseudo. Then during your turn, you're gonna go banish malicious, summon a malicious, and then you're gonna just pseudo target the malicious and just yazzy them. And after you yazzy them, you just boros sword them. Um, so that was the first random hand. So uh, once again, I'm not gonna cut the video. I'm just gonna show you guys how consistent the deck is again. So you're gonna see me just unorganizing my cards. Blah, blah, blah. Just gonna show you guys how consistent this deck really is. Now we're gonna shuffle up, shuffle up. And we're gonna get, once again, my lovely cameraman to cut the deck. So if you'd be so kind, sir, to cut my deck. So now you can see he cut my deck. I didn't stack it, I shuffled it properly. And now I'm just gonna draw the five cards again. So I drew Soul Charge, Midbreaker, and uh, Greffer, and Armageddon, and uh, Rhoda. See, that hand was gonna be very, very bad. I almost thought I could've combo, but my, t <laughs> my top two, my, uh, my next two cards are really good. So once again, you just look at this hand and your opponent ac actually can't play the game because you open Midbreaker and call out the game. And obviously you open two one us because since you're playing Ronko, you're already a superior duelist. So like, you're gonna draw these cards anyways. And like, if you open Soul Charge, you're already the best duelist ever. Like it just, it just goes to show like, me drawing Soul Charge just proves that like, I don't need to say it, but I am the best. So with this hand, like obviously you have multiple lines of play, but not really. So you're just gonna go Rota and you're gonna grab Space Connector because it's the best card to grab. Then from here you go activate Midbreaker Field, so now they can't do anything. You're gonna normal summon Space Connector and use its effect. From here, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, you're gonna ask me? Okay, let me just call by the game real quick. Um, and then you bring out the Aqua Dolphin. Where is it? Aqua Dolphin. And yeah, like you have full combo, but see, this is another important part. Since I technically opened a Reborn card or an Extender, I can go further. And this is, this is to go even further beyond, shout out my boy Goku. So now you use Assault effect, and you can go Assault, you're gonna mill four. So you mill uh, the Divine Sword, the, our future, obviously depending on the matchups, right? Like you mill, um, oh, all my Echo Spells were together, fantastic, but I didn't draw them. So now you dump that. The reason why I didn't roll for the Armageddon Knight, because if you open Armageddon Knight in your hand, and you don't have enough Dark Monsters in your hand, um, it actually becomes dead because you're gonna have to bring out Greffer, and then Greffer, you won't have any cards to pitch from your hand, so you actually put behind. But having the Armageddon Knight, you don't need any cards in hand because Armageddon Knight's such a good card. And them even hitting it to one doesn't matter, so like the standard play, you go Armageddon Knight effect, it's gonna dump Zephyros the Elite. Now you're gonna go with the Divine Sword, banish the two, get the Divine Sword, equip, bounce it, and then summon it again. And then link three into Summon Sorcerers. Now a lot of people think that Midbreaker Field means neither player can target monsters, but it's just your opponent, so it doesn't really matter. And then over here, you're just going to uh, bring out Steam the Cloak, right here. Now that you have a three to four, you're gonna Synchro Summon into Power Tool, and then Steam the Fact will trigger, bring out the token. And now from here, you're gonna use Power Tool Effect to bring out the DDR. And then, uh, you're gonna banish two again for the Divine Sword. And then link these two into the Space Insulator. So as soon as you can get to this board, it's already over for them. Like they, they have no way of even coming back. As long as you can just get to this board, it's over. Like even worse comes to worse, if you get hand trapped, I will put on, I will uh, put a video of me getting hand trapped and seeing how I played through it. So you guys have a better understanding of how to play through it as well. So you're gonna use Rusty Effect and Rusty is going to do the standard, you know, um, you're gonna search that with cloak. You're gonna set that and you're gonna banish, dump the cloak and then banish it to search the boots. And then from here, you're gonna set, activate it, bring it up right here. Obviously you go DDR pitch, the divine sword, bring out my boy Armageddon. Now you're gonna use Armageddon Knight's effect and you're going to dump. So once again, like I said, we, we have almost every piece. We have the three, the three but we don't have the Desudo because that's the difference between the six, right? So now the Desudo is gonna come out right here. And now that the Desudo's out right here, you're gonna go ahead and use Desudo effect to target. And then you're gonna special with uh, that guy because you control him. Overlay into the Rongo. And then you just use its effect, tribute this, summon this. This falls off, obviously. 
and then you just link these again into the gossip shadow and then gossip shadow will go over here and then it's pretty much game and like i said i opened soul charge i didn't even need to use it like i didn't i absolutely had no no reason to use it if i had another level three in grave i definitely would have soul charge just so i can get um uh, another material onto the wrong but it doesn't really matter and then, like I said before, during your opponent's turn, you have the Greffer for normal summon, you draw for turn, it's another Greffer. You just go normal summon, you're going to attach to the Strudel. You just summon, you do your combo, and you just out their board. Yeah, Midbreaker is uh, a threat to you, but like not really, because you can obviously just uh, shuffle this back with Unicorn, and then nuke your opponent's board, and then just Borrow Sword them, attack for game. So, yeah, like I said, these are, those are my test hand videos. Um, this deck is very consistent. It is probably one of the best decks, if not the best deck. The only reason why people are afraid of Sky Strikers is because they can play the hand traps, but if you have mid Baker Field, knock it off and everything like that, it doesn't matter. So like I said before, this is the best deck. There's, those are some test hands. My next video is just gonna be uh, going second and playing on hand traps and being able to combo through them. Just to show you guys that this Dark Warrior Rongo deck is the best deck of the format. Anyways guys, if you did like my video, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, comment anything you'd like to see next, and yeah. So once again guys, this is Hamza from Arthur Gaming, signing out. Peace.